to go through and then I'll start. I know, it's so cute. They did a really good job with it. Really happy. <sighs> Come on, Ad, start sooner. Taking forever to start. Come on, go ahead, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, my God, the ads really are just taking their time. Whatever, I don't have anyone here right now except you, so let's just start. Um, the ad will start when it starts, right? Uh, let me launch this so that way I can make sure it's not going to kill me, you know? There's the ad, finally. And it is in fact killing me. Oh my god, I can't change the settings. Are you kidding me? And now I'm in credits and I can't get out of credits. Game, you are killing me. Please. Okay. I'm gonna switch over. Because I can't see otherwise. And then I'm going to immediately fix it. Yeah, there we go. God, it's... It's like... Jamming in my ears. But I can't do anything about it. So let's just go. Let's play... Let's try the demo. Oh, so this is Project Anomaly. It is an urban supernatural investigator. Hold on, I'm trying to get the uh, Steam link for it here real quick. I spelled anomaly wrong, but that's okay. So this is a 2.5D first person adventure mystery game where you play as an investigator who solves cases by taking pictures of cryptids, urban legends, mythological creatures, as well as befriending them in an open world environment. Here is the link. And let's go. I am Dr. Shaw, the new director of the new Noir branch. I came here as a replacement for the previous director. Well, this must be your first day here as an urban supernatural investigator. Let me lead your training session here and explain your main responsibilities. Yeah, it really does sound like Pokemon Snap, but cryptids. <laughs> oh, hold on. I didn't... <sighs> hold on. Sync size on. There we go. Sorry for showing you my nudes. <laughs> I wasn't big enough. Anomaly is a term that we use for creatures that cause disturbances around the world throughout history that are invisible to our eye. They are usually what the general population would refer to them as urban legends, mythology, folklore, or cryptids. They have the ability to conceal and reveal their appearance. This is why some of them got caught in found footage videos. Recently, we had a containment breach which caused the contained anomalies to break free. Interestingly, there are numerous reports of new unknown anomalies as well. 
We have a change of direction this year. We will not be capturing anomalies anymore, but now we try to understand them by communicating with them. Due to the changes, investigators and researchers work together to learn more about the anomalies. Enforcers, on the other hand, have recently disbanded from the Institute and they still capture anomalies for security regions. reasons. Hope you applied for the right position. If it is your duty to investigate and learn more about the anomalies and make sure they don't disrupt our daily lives. As a final reward for completing your training, you will receive a complimentary slice of pizza from the Anomaly Research Institute. <laughs> now, let's start the training session. I left the camera on the desk over there behind you. Could you pick it up? Please talk to me after you got it. Turn around by moving your mouse. I, I am moving my mouse. I'll press Waza to move and the E key to take the camera. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hello, Shaw. Well, what do you think of the camera? Cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to teach you how to use the camera. Use the camera to take pictures of anything that can be used for solving cases and inspecting pictures. Also, it's common sense that you have to move slowly to take high quality pictures when using the camera. See the control diagrams on the blackboard next to you? Try to take a picture of it with your new camera. Talk to me when you're done. Okay, Z zoom. That makes sense. Okay. Yep. Alright, uh. Zoom. Zoom. You move slower with the camera enabled. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I got it. Well done. Good. Huh? What was that? The pot of plants over there just fell over. It sounds like something has just stepped into the room. Can you take a picture of something that just entered here? Talk to me when you're done. Uh, okay. We're we're already looking for a cryptid. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that is a hello. New anomaly found. Nurikabe. Scary. Oh, I can only see it in my camera. Interesting, interesting. Great job. Yes, it seems there was a Nurikabi all along, watching your training session here. Oh, that's kind of cute. Uh, I hope they're not scary. <laughs> the camera that you're holding right now is not an ordinary camera. We call it the Beholder. The Beholder is our special camera that can perceive anomalies which are invisible to the human eye. Be aware that the beholder still has technical limitations. It has limited storage and it can only recognize objects that are not covered by any other objects. By the way, have you used your PDA? Yes, the one that we gave you is also special equipment that we developed, which we call the Cognito Nomicon. Haha, <laughs> I know a user named Cognito. It's a powerful multi-purpose device that allows you to keep track of your cases, taking pictures, encounter anomalies, and converse contacts. You can check your pictures in the PDA by pressing the tab. If you run out of storage, you can delete a picture by pressing X on a photo you want to delete. Cool. Uh, this device also allows you to initiate a conversation with the anomalies, but only after you took your picture with the beholder. All right, so we're gonna tame the Nurikabi. We can talk to it using the camera. Okay, let's look at their entry in the A-pedia. Yokai, Japan. An invisible wall that impedes or misdirects travelers walking at night. It has been suggested that the legend of the Nurikabe was created to explain travelers losing their bearings on long journeys. It's so cute. Okay. How do I how do I talk to it? X? See? Like, I know how to take the picture, but how do I- Oh! There it is! Oh! Woof! Let's play! Uh, sure? Let's play hide and seek! Okay. Yay! Get ready! You'll never find me! Oh, you're right over there, buddy. You're right over there! Right here! Ah, oh, you found me! I forgot you have that special camera. Good job hiding. Gives a pet. Woof woof. Thanks for playing with me. Let's play again next time. I'm Nurikabe. Ah, how cute. How cute. How cute. I did it. It's a cute little guy. Impressive. You just tamed the Nurikabe. You sure have great potential for a novice. What? What happened now? 
Yeah, y'all got like zero security if anomalies just keep busting up in here in the the fucking training room. Like, come on. All right. Ah, uh, that's scary. I have to tame it. Okay, first let me take a picture of it. Uh, let's tab it. Is it called unknown or do I just not know what it is? I think I just don't know what it is. Um. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's breathing. I don't like that. Anyway, scary. Hello? Must devour to evolve. What? Ah! Not good enough yet. Ow, it hurts. I'll get you next time. Did I press the red button? Uh. Hey, I didn't tame it. My apologies for this. I didn't expect that this could happen. We haven't renewed the fire extinguishers here because we use the particle shields more often for situations like this. Uh, after analyzing data from that picture you've taken, the anomaly didn't get registered in the Anomalopedia. Unusual. But whatever, let's get back to training. <laughs> when you fail at taming an anomaly, some can escape and some could attack you. You could also could always come back later in a different shift. Okay. Uh, ho? Ho? I, I, when I see H-O-O-H, I just think ho-o, but I'm sure it's not ho-o. Uh, he's the first certified anomaly to work with the investigators. He will be assisting you during your investigations. Oh, you're cute! You're cutie! Hello, I'm I'm gonna call you ho-o. Nice meeting ya. I'll be your partner through your new career. I'll be following you around, floating on the right of your shoulder while you go investigating the cases. If you get knocked out during an investigation, I'll pick you up and you'll be transported back into your room. I am small, but I can lift he heavy weights as heavy as a food truck. I'm not saying that you're heavy, though. He he's really quite quiet in investigations. He won't be as annoying as assistants in video games who constantly ask you to... L okay, okay. We're just... <laughs> the Navi hate. Like, I get it, but damn. T to be fair, I don't know how to solve cases because I'm just a a hool. I'll leave that up to ya, partner. Well, I guess you gotta finish your training. See ya soon. Quite an interesting fellow, isn't he? Alright, the last lesson. Your task as an investigator is to solve cases. Wow, who knew? What are we doing? Some cases require you to take a picture and present it to the client. Some require you to investigate and tame a specific anomaly, and then talk to the client to report your finding. Uh, you're assigning me a test case where I have to show me a picture of the current director of the Anomaly Research Institute. Is that you? You can also check your receive cases by pressing the tab key to open your PDA. Alright, um, tab. Cases. Who could that be? Is it me? Like, I can't leave, so I guess it's you. Well, are you ready to solve the case? This photo solves the case! Well done! You solved it! Yes! That is me! Now it's time to conclude the training session. Remember, this is just a test case, which means the real cases would be more challenging than this. Yes, of course, of course. Hey, we're here! Oh, they're here. Just a moment. Wh who's they? Oh, apparently it's not the pizza delivery man. But you have another surprise for me. You're not the only urban supernatural investigator here. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. I was promised pizza. Shaw? Shaw? My pizza? Where is my pizza? My slice of pizza? I don't even get a whole pizza? Come on. Um, let's see. We're meeting Wes and Blair. Hey, uh, I'm Wes. Great to have you here. You look cool. I'm an investigator and I also do research on anomalies. I was heavily involved in the development of the database behind Cog Cognitonomicon's Anomalopedia. Oh, that's cool. Nerd. I'm excited that we're going to focus on gathering data for anomalies instead of capturing them in this term. I'm looking forward to publish a new paper this year about the appearance rate of anomalies. 
I hope you have a great time here, and congratulations on getting the job. How about you introduce yourself, Blair? I'm Blair. I'm also an investigator like Wes. Capturing anomalies, solving cases and stuff. But no more capturing anomalies this year. That's all you need to know about me. Oh, and welcome to the investigation team. Wow. Yay. All the interesting things are happening this term. It'd be really cool if this were my first term. New direction, new certified anomaly staffs. Man, I wish I had an, a certified anomaly as a partner. That'd be a lot more interesting. Are you implying that I'm boring? Ah. 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 Ah, uh, anyway. We just received a new report about a new major case in the Eastboro. Great timing. This will be your first mission that I can assign to you. If you need to find some clues, feel free to talk to them while in an investigation. Uh, try to introduce yourself to the other lab members. They can help you inspect pictures based on their area of expertise. You might encounter new anomalies by submitting relevant pictures for their research. I'll be waiting at the lobby downstairs and open the portal to your first area. Okay, cool. Oh, look, a nice little handy dandy map that I, I can't really read. Alright. Eh, I'll figure it out. Oh, that's upstairs. That goes to the observatory. Is that just... Hi, hi Zygmunt. Hey, the name's Zygmunt. I'm an astronomer here. You might know me as a former guitarist of Matrix Arc, but I don't know if kids these days still listen to our songs. I document astronomical and extraterrestrial activities here. I still also play music with my custom keyboard guitar that I made, the Starman. What's wrong with having two different hobbies? I'm having a good time doing them and I don't want to stop at all. Okay, so he's the guy to go to for terrestrial stuff. But please, always show your work in metric units. Imperial units are dumb. Why measure the distance of a rocket ship to Mars and football fields? I'd say, welcome to the wall, bud. After all, we're all just bricks in this wall. But we're in a cool wall. How did I get up here? Okay. Oh, this is your room? It's a pretty cool room. I guess I'll talk to you again? What? Dang, you live like this? <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> Hello! What's up? Just floating around here waiting for the next investigation. Don't worry, I'll watch your back. Whose room is this? My room, I guess. Hey ya! All these papers are my research paper. I'm still organizing which part should be included and which part should be cut. Cool. Alright, let's see. Archives? Hello, sir. You got a... You an artist? You look like an artist. Greetings! I'm Rod Rodlin, and I'm the linguist here. I study languages. He recognizes about 6,000? Jesus Christ. Uh, they need me to keep track of documented anomalies throughout the history of humankind. An interesting fact about me is I went to the same university as a previous director. Other than studying the ancient languages, I supervise the archives and I make comics. Of course, I'm not exactly going to use the findings here as source materials, just some slight changes. To be fair, people can't tell what's real or not. Truth lies in the eye of the beholder. Haha, <laughs> that's funny, because the camera is named the beholder. <laughs> no pun intended with the camera that investigators use. Anyway, bring me... Pictures of transcripts, manuscripts, or glyphs of a foreign language, I can help you translate what it says. Cool. Alright, so that's the archives. Who's in the clinic? Hello. Hi, Shell. Oh dear, a unit new recruit? I'm Shell, and I'm the medic of the Anomaly Research Institute. As you expect, I treat patients in case someone's injured. Oh, it's been really helpful picking up injured investigators here. Other than that, I also do my research here. 
Even though I have formal degrees in the medicinal chemistry and surgery, I'm interested in anomalies and how they can contribute in modern medicine. My number one exper uh, my ex experimental medications might look unorthodox to you, but my patient's safety is my number one priority. Just like this syringe that I designed, which is made of a leech's mouth that has natural anesthesia to it, all my procedures are plain painless. If you found something that looks unwell, sick, or any mysterious substance, I can do a diagnosis on that photo that you took. My dear, congratulations on getting your job. I hope you'll have a great time here. Cool. Hey, get vaccinated. Um, alright, who's in the cafeteria? No one. Alright, time to go downstairs. Where am I? Where am I now? Okay, that's where I need to go. So let me go to storage, see if there's anyone here. Oh yeah, there is. Hello, a Nicho. Yo, I'm Nicho and I'm the paleontologist here. I study dead things. Mostly dinosaurs, because that's what I like, and I'm interested to bring larger dinosaurs to life. Haha, <laughs> you need to stop, Nicho. Haven't you seen Jurassic Park? You need to stop. Don't do that, buddy. Do not bring dinosaurs to life. I'm here because I heard there are some sightings of extinct beings roaming around in the wilderness, and I want to see them with my own eyes. Rah! Oh yeah, this is Terry. I found him the other day when I was looking for fossils. Rah! Liar! Shush, be quiet. If you see bones, fossils, or dead remains, just bring pics of them to me. Dead stuff! I know it looks messy here since the enforcers disbanded from the Anomaly Research Institute. They took a lot of things in the storage and didn't clean it afterwards. Pathetic. Pathetic! It's okay. There are tons of dust and dirt in my excavations all the time, and this is nothing compared to those. Haha. <laughs> they only took weapons from the storage, but they left all the fossils here. Idiots like them can't tell the, vol the value behind these fossils. Can't you see how much information that can be held in a fossil? It's just like what they said, one dead person is another person's treasure. No one says that. I can't remember the exact thing, but you get the point. Ha ha, welcome to the lab. Ah, the lab. Okay, cool. Strange guy. He's got the spirit, though. Alright. The workshop. Ah. Hello, I love you, Helen. Hey, it's the new recruit. I'm Helen. I'm the engineer of the Anomaly Research Institute. I used to work for the Aerospace Agency, but the technology and facilities in the Anomaly Research Institute sound more interesting to me. That's why I'm here. One specific technology that I'm really interested in is the Beholder. Yeah, the special camera. Unfortunately, any information about how the camera works and how it was developed remains confidential by the Institute. If I work here long enough, I might be promoted and finally know the secret behind it. Did you know that if anyone tries to disassemble the Beholder, it will automatically self-destruct? Even though I don't know exactly how it works, I want- I know how to make upgrades for the Beholder. I can give you storage upgrades when you take more pictures. I can also give you experimental filters where you can see specific anomalies that can't be seen with the regular lens. I'd love to inspect your pictures like the others here, but I can't do that because I'm quite busy with my work, sorry. Come back to me later when you discover 10 anomalies, I can give you a storage upgrade for your Beholder. Also, if you tame 6 anomalies, I can give you a new filter to test out. Welcome to the team. Let's grab a coffee at the cafeteria sometime. Sounds good. I think that's everyone. Alright, Shaw. I'm here. Queer. I'm ready to go. Into the field. Hello again. I hope you introduced yourself to your lab partners here. I'm sure they're happy to see you as well. Investigators work in shifts that consist of two parts of the day, which they can select on their own. One shift lasts six minutes in real time. Time pause when you're not interacting with an object. Take your time when reading the dialogues. New Noir is a city that never sleeps. Things change, will change over time. Some clients, events, and anomalies only appear at specific times. If you think you're done for the day, you can always kick back and relax for the next part of the day, or you can return to the lab by selecting end shift option your PDA. There are reports of a gigantic moon appearing in Eastboro. Go to the Eastboro portal and select your shift. You won't be seeing the hints on the top right panel anymore, because New Noir is yours to explore on your own. Now off you go. Best of luck. Scary. 
Let's go. Uh, let's try dawn and day. And day and dusk. Oh, let's try day and dusk. Hey, uh, what's up? I just got a report about an anomaly that appears at night, which is outside of my shift. They said the anomaly likes to steal money around the ATM that is close to Dude's Restaurant. I can't tame it because I'll be writing my research paper when my shift is done. Sorry. I really appreciate it if you'll tame the anomaly. Sure. Oops. Hey, buddy. Vernon. Hmm? I can't sail right now. The moon is gravitating too close to the earth. The tides might get very dangerous. The name's Vernon. I'm not tired of this earth, but I'm tired of all the powerful people here. World leaders ruin the world. That's why I'm always on sale. Now I'm forced to sell my latest catch to get money before I could dock my submarine. Guess I'll have to catch more later for dinner. Hold on. Oh, okay, that guy was there before. Uh, oh! That must be the moon. Maybe. What is that? Just something weird. Hey, buddy. Hmm? Yes? What's up? The moon! It's bigger than it was before. It inspired me to start a new art collection based on the tale of the bamboo cutter. I need something new for my new art collection. Can you take a picture of an artwork for my collection? Sure. Uh, Nia Noir is also known for numerous famous artists who were born and raised here. Cool. Alright, let's see. Anything interesting? No. Hello, Grandma Tsubame. Why, hello there! What's up? Feel free to look at my souvenirs. They're all exclusive to Eastboro. I actually need something if you have time. I can't find my glasses. Can you help me find them? Oh, I'm already wearing them. How foolish. You'll get used to this when you're old. Now for my actual request. Did you see the moon out there? It's unusual to see the moon in daylight like this, and it looks big. It reminds me of when Princess Kaguya from the tale of the bamboo cutter, which my mother told me that story when I was a kid. I'm planning to make a new souvenir, which is highly inspired by the legendary tale. It's called the Swallow's Cowrie Shelf. Unfortunately, I don't have shells in my inventory. I haven't gone to the beach lately. Can you help me by taking pictures of some shells, which I can use for my latest creation? Sure. Oh, thank you. I'm grateful that kind youngsters like you are still around. I'm sure you can ask... I'm sure... I'm really sure you could ask from someone who just got here from the beach. Uh, also, as a heads up, we are, um, we will be having ads in two minutes. Thank you for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. Um, it helps me get paid just a little bit. Um, scary. Scary, scary, scary. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Let me, let me see. I won't, I'll try not to do anything while, um, I the ads are going but also since I'm timed I probably will will um a vengeful spirit that is bounded to abandoned wells to scare people it was a ragged shroud and has messy hair they pass their grudge on to those they come in contact with okay let me try to uh try to tame you can I talk to you gra I said gra huh you're not scared of me I'm supposed to be putting on my scary face. Am I a joke to you? Uh. Yes. Well, I'm going back to the well. Today is not my day. Hold on. Ooh, spooky. I know you're lying. I feel like I'm not scary anymore. One day I scared one person. He was startled and I thought I did a very good job scaring him. But this guy was somewhat amazed by it. He jotted down everything on a piece of paper, and he ran away while screaming, THIS IS THE BEST IDEA EVER! Ever since then, I've seen two kinds of people. Those who are genu genuinely afraid of me, and those who actually want to see me. Now I have mixed feelings about this, but I can't be proud of myself just yet. I should be feared by people, not adored. 
just embrace your fame. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. But I haven't got my revenge to the person who killed me. Don't you see I'm a vengeful spirit? Ah, uh, around a hundred years ago. Oh wait, that means they won't be around here anymore. Oh well, I guess I won't get my revenge. Letting go is the best revenge. Hmm, you're right. What's the point of living my life on expecting unachievable goals? Also, by the way, ads are starting in about five seconds. Thank you again for watching the ads. Let me know what ads you get. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll actually stay on this dialogue since uh, the time doesn't pass then. And I'll wait for the ads to finish. As soon as the ads start, I hate... I hate this sometimes. It's like, oh, the ads are starting soon. And I'm like, yeah, they're starting soon. And then it's like, ha ha ha, JK. There it is. Are you Alex I hope your legs are less in pain I am sleepy but it's okay oh, oh. I'm looking at things he retweeted like a cat playing with this person's ponytail. <laughs> Cats are so cute. Oh, and the sucrose. The sucrose is really cute. Alright, my ads are almost done. Welcome back. All right, let's continue with this dialogue. To be honest, I don't know if I was actually killed by someone. All I could remember is that I woke up like this in a well and nobody looked after me. Seeking revenge on something that's not even here anymore? I can't continue my life like this. Well, thanks for giving me useful advice. Next time I'll try to be nice to people instead of scaring them. I'm Kyokoto. It's been well meeting you. Ha, because you're in a well. I haven't seen anyone visiting this well lately. I think people got scared of the mysterious gigantic moon that has been appearing recently. Have you visited the temple? There is this crow that flies around the temple where the monk shows up in the morning. Oh, thank you. That's actually very helpful. I appreciate it. Crow. Is that, is that the crow? No. I guess because it's not morning, I won't see anything. Oh, I have to sneeze. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, oh. Uh, Kodama. Uh, tab. Why didn't it show up? Oh, there it is. Forest spirits that inhabit trees. Echoes that uh, reverberated through mountains and valleys are said to be Kodama. It is said that cutting down a tree which houses a Kodama is thought to bring misfortune. Okay. Rattle, rattle. Stand back, human. What are you doing here? You're not going to cut down the trees, right? Nope. I'm an investigator. Good to hear that. I'm glad you're not one of those logger humans. I'm just trying to keep this tree alive. The logger humans have been cutting trees around here. Don't they hear our agonizing scream when the trees were cut down? They've been cutting down the trees at night. All my Kodama friends didn't survive. I'm sorry to hear that. But don't worry, as long as I'm still around here, I will be the one who protects the trees. Why are humans like this? Are all humans destructive by nature? 
No, not me. There are more humans like me. You're a good human. Other types of humans I like most are the farmer humans. I respect them. They take down trees, but they grow more trees in exchange. Just like how this bamboo forest got developed here. They're like trees. They take in nutrients from the ground, and in exchange they give oxygen to life beings that could give nutrients for themselves. Giving and taking considerably is important. Rattle rattle. I seem to have resonated with the nature very well. Astounding! You're not a bad human. I completely trust you. I'm Kodama. Nice to meet you. Have you met my other human friend yet? He likes to play at the bamboo forest during the day and dusk. Alright, he's probably in here somewhere then. Uh, I don't see anything so far. Oh, that must be him. It seems he's meditating at the moment. I can speak to him later when he's not in the astral realm. Oh, hey, kid. Hi! What's up? You're an investigator, right? I'm looking for my missing friend, and I haven't seen him lately. We usually play around the forest during the day and dusk. Can you take a picture of him? Yeah. Awesome, thanks! I don't have a picture of him, but he likes to sit under the trees, and he's green. Hold on. I might have, I might have it. This guy, right? Takio's friend turned out to be a Kodama. A forest spirit that inhabits trees. Now, the big question is... How can this kid see and speak to an anomaly without the assistance of any equipment from the Anomaly Research Institute? There he is! So we moved to a closer tree. A different tree closer to the temple. How can you speak to him? Oh! Well, I forgot to explain that earlier, haha. <laughs> I don't know, but I can see and speak to invisible things just like you! My parents brought me to the doctor several times, thinking I'm out of my mind. Finally, somebody understands me! Oh! That's my secret exchange of your help in finding my missing friend. All the friends, all the kids at school only talk about cars and sports. Kodama taught me a lot of cool things about nature, such as learning new types and species of plants. Thank you, investigator. We should all play in the forest together sometimes. The moon gets closer and closer at night. It's just like that game that I've been playing recently. At least this one doesn't have a scary face on it and won't crash to earth in three days. Man, they're really, they're really just bringing out all the Zelda references, huh? Thanks, Takeo. I appreciate it. Alright. I don't see anything here. Let's go over this bridge. Um, hmm. Let's go through the bamboo. What is that? <laughs> okay, first the Zelda references, now the Junji Ito references. A human shaped hole in the wall. Looks like it was made for someone else, not for me. I should probably actually read that story so I understand. You guys went down there. I went down there, so let me go back this way. Hello. Scribbling sketchbook. What's up? I'm burnt out. Finding inspiration is difficult. I need something for my final project and later sell it to collectors for my pocket money. Not only that, I'm so hungry because I haven't had breakfast yet. Oh! I didn't notice you there. Um, can you help me find some inspiration for my latest artwork? I'm in a mess. Why did I ask an investigator for an art advice? Uh, I love making art about mythology. Recently, I've been into making art from discarded objects. I guess you can find them in places where people throw stuff around. You can show me by taking a picture of them. Okay. Oh! Hey, buddy. Good to see you again, investigator. Let's play again sometime later. 
Have you been to the temple? There are wooden plaques where people write their wishes, but I can't read. Wolf. Do you know someone who can read letters? Okay, I didn't see that when I went to the temple. Maybe I need to go back. Hello! What's up? Hey, aren't you one of those supernatural investigators? Yes. Great timing, I need your help. I just saw a rat come out of my store. Not just a regular rat, it had flames. Flames, I tell ya. It almost burned down my family-owned convenience store. My grandmother and the landlord wouldn't like that, nuh -uh. If what I saw was true, I just want safety for everybody in my community. Can you take a picture of it? It left a trail of fire. That's where you can find out where it went. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh? Oh, my shift's over. No, it's not. It's still going. Man. First of all, let me take a picture of it. It's, it's just a fire rat? <laughs> Fire rat. I sought to live in the volcanoes of the South China of the South China and possesses fireproof fur. It's based on ancient Greek misconceptions of asbestos, a fireproof material with hairy fibers that can be spun into cloth. Hi, buddy. A squeak? Squeak, squeak! Oh no, I'm cornered. Hello there. Squeak! Please don't capture me. I'm just squeaking hungry. You're not an exterminator, right? Nope. Phew, I'm safe. You're not bringing any squeaking fire extinguisher too, so that's good. What were you doing at the store? You're not gonna believe this? But somehow I woke up there and I'm hungry. When I was looking for a way out, the owner got surprised and she thought I stole something there. I'm just squeaking hungry, you know? A rat's gotta do what a rat's gotta do. But in the end, I didn't steal anything at the convenience store. Ah, thanks for being honest. Grumble, grumble. Wow, I'm starving. Do you know where I can get some squeaking good food? Uh, the bakery's free cheese sample. Squeak, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, about to go get some good food. You're cool, buddy. The name's Fire Rat. A squeak. <sighs> what a good rat. What a good guy. Um, let's see. Okay. Can I run? Nope, I went that way before. Hey. What? What's up? Hey, newbie. I just got a report there's a sighting of large footprints around the bamboo forest at dawn. A big foot would be too obvious, but I'm curious about what's it's what it's supposed to be. It's outside of my ship, but I'll try to find it if I'm not tired. Think you can tame it before I do? Okay. It's definitely faster than you. Is that... Yeah, that's a cutoff area. Okay, so, um... Let's see if I can go back to the temple. I, I feel like I missed a lot. Yeah, this is just a nice little area with the well. She's so cute now. Friend's still there. Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if that man's still there. Oh oh oh. Ah, that's my shift. Okay, so I need to go at night and at dawn. Um. So if I go to cases, a menacing man, a mischievous thief. Here's at night. Picture of a cavalry shell. Oh, I need to present that to her. Okay. 
Dusk Knight. Oh, I see. I need to Dawn Day first. Okay, let me Dawn Day and then Dusk Knight. Um, let me see if there's anything I can do with... Hey, buddy. Can you inspect this picture? Photo identified. Okay. Ah, that's an Emma. An Emma is a piece of a wooden block where the temple visitors can share their wishes. The writing there says, I wish for a better tomorrow. If only I still have a better tomorrow, ha ha ha. Alright, there's a report about a sighting of a three-legged crow flying around the temple at dawn in Eastboro. Okay. Dawn. Uh, let me look at my cases right now. So there's dawn, day, day dusk, day dusk, day. Yep. Alright, Dawn. Dawn seems to be most of them. Uh, let me look at my gallery and get rid of some things. So I don't need the Kodama anymore. I might need this. I don't need Cha. I'm pretty sure I don't need this. Uh, I don't need the Emma anymore. Okay, cool. Let's go. Sure, I can just go in, right? Yeah. Let's go dawn and day. Actually, why can't I do night and dawn? Oh, maybe that's when I picked it up. Yeah, maybe that's when I picked it up. Okay. So, at night, at dawn, and at dawn. Okay. So, at night, I need to go to the ATM that is close to a restaurant. Okay. Oh, that moon's kind of scary. Okay, um... Let's see. Where is dude's restaurant? Okay. Um Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey. I got that picture. Here it is. The fire rat woke up in Serenade's convenience store without knowing it. Uh, this case seems to be relevant. Uh, it was just a harmless creature looking for food. The robe of the fire rat is one of the treasures Princess Kaguya wanted, which was rumored to be fireproof. One of the nobles who bought one turned out to be fake, and it burned out after the royal guards tested it. Cool. Oh, what? See, I told you it was real. What'd you do to it? I was just looking for food, but it's safe now. Ooh, good to hear it. I don't want to see things being set on fire here. That reminds me of a story that my favorite customer told me. The robe of the fire rat. It's one of the treasures that Princess Kaguya wanted, which was rumored to be fireproof. So the guy who got the so-called treasure bought the fake one, and it burned down after a royal guard tested it. Seriously. Why would anyone want to make a robe out of it, though? It's like, everywhere you go, you'll catch fire. What a relief. Thanks for confirming. I'm glad I'm not seeing weird things. Start being convenient. Ah, it's nothing. I've seen a lot of things worse than that. One night, my store had a robbery. They took all the money and the cashier and I was helpless. But then suddenly, my customers who lived nearby heard the noise and helped me kicking out the robber from stealing my goods. Nothing is predictable. That's life. But hey, that's why I enjoy my job here. New things always keep on coming. We're a real tight community here. Okay, where is the restaurant district? I thought it would have been that, but I guess not. 
Do I have a map somewhere? Oh, maybe this is the restaurant district. Who are you? Huh? What's up? Yo, investigator, hold it right there. I'm Enforcer Helmet of the Anomaly Defense Department. I heard there's a sighting of a dragon that has jewel-like scales on its back in the bamboo forest at dawn. I'm gonna ask you all the information about it. I'm gonna report you for disobeying the law. This is my first week. Oh, so you're a new recruit. This kid needs to learn more about enforcers. Let me give you a lesson. Do you know what enforcer does? Capturing anomalies day and night. Huh, you're quite a prospective one. That's what we do and that's what makes us better than all you investigators. We're the real heroes. We're not just taking pictures like paparazzis all day. Okay. No, okay, fine. Okay, bring it on. All right. The dragon in the bamboo forest, cool. Hey buddy, dude. Yo, is your stomach so hungry? I want to go on a trip. Well, I gotta inform you that you are cordially invited for a trip to Taste Town. From traditional to experimental dishes, we have everything here. Our food is 10 times better than anything you can find in Westboro. Try our latest recipe here. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Okay, what are you? What are you? Ta I'm pressing. I'm not pressing tab. <laughs> ah! Indonesian. An undead infant that is invoked as a helper by shaman, Stukun. Using black magic for look to money. The creature is used to rob people of their riches. They are sold by shamans to reviving dead babies from its dwelling place. Uh, okay. Hey. Oi! You got any money? Give me your money! I I'm broke. Guess I'll come back to you when you're a little richer. No. What's it for? I'm a servant to my master to steal money from others. Why are you so hesitant to give me some of your fresh cash? I know you have them. Now give me your money or I'll take it by force. It's your master. Well, the thing is, my master abandoned me. What I learned from him is money is everything. Of course you need money to buy all the latest toys. Money is the only thing that can buy me happiness. Now that I'm on my own, I have to get my own money to get all the fun I need. Give me your money. What else do you want other than money? Money! Just money! How many times do I tell you I, have to want, I want your money? Are you sure? Well, I do want to meet my real mother someday. I don't even know how she's like. I was born and was just told to get money. The only memory I had was there's a shaman who appointed me to my previous master to get money. My master got rich after I stole a lot of money for him and now he abandoned me because he doesn't need my help anymore. I just want someone who could take care of me and someone I can work for. Am I too late to change my ways? Buddy, you're a kid. <laughs> hey, I'm a grown up now, but thanks for your advice, investigator. Seems there's more to life than money. I'm done with stealing money from others. I'm too old. I hope someday I can meet my mother. Alright, buddy. Huh? Oh, construction cones. New Noir, a city that never sleeps. It never sleeps because of the everlasting construction noise. What a mood! What a mood. G gummy sons. I don't like that. Anyway, um... All right. That moon is really scary, to be honest. Oh, hey! You're awake! Hello, investigator. I sense the bloodthirsty living weapon in this forest, but I'm sure you have highly advanced equipment to communicate with it. My senses are limited, but I can feel its presence not too far from here. Can you take a picture of it and later show it to me? During dusk and night. Okay. Are you saying it's in this forest, my guy? Oh, hey. Let's 
see, let's see. Oh, I might not be able to see what he wants me to see. I probably need a better filter. Uh, what is that? Alright. That will go to, uh, our friend. Oh, the Kodama's gone. Okay. So. I know that there is an anomaly in this area at dawn. What I also know is that there are really big footprints. I'm just going to stay right here. Oh, I didn't mean to take a picture of that actually. I am going to stay right here and wait for daytime. Not daytime, dust time. Uh, I don't need a picture of you like this. I don't need this. Alright. Hold on. Oh, no? Nothing showed up. Okay. Oh, daytime. Dust time. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Keating. Let's, let's see what's up with you. A dragon-like hooved mythical creature that has antlers and long mane. They appear to have jewel-like scales. They're peaceful divine creatures that can become fierce. If a pure person is threatened by a malicious person, they're thought to be a symbol of luck, protection, and good omens. Cool. Also, as a heads up, we have ads. <gasps> Excuse me. In about three minutes. I think I need... It seems I need more research info to be able to communicate with this anomaly. Okay, well, at least I can give this picture to the man. No, oh, he's not here. Um. Okay. Well, I should go to the temple. Uh, anything there? No. Should go to the temple and find that bird. Oh, there it is. Yata, uh, Yata Garasu. Hey, Ando. Greetings, investigator. So, may I ask you for a favor? It seems one of the temple's begging bowls is missing, and the oldest one. If it's stolen, I do not seek revenge to whoever stole it. Its presence in this temple is important. Could you investigate what happened to the bowl? The bowl might be somewhere in the forest, but that's just my intuition. Can I talk to it? No, I think it's too high for me to talk to. Alright, let's check the horse. I got some time. Up! Oh! Up! Oh! Hold on, I gotta take a picture of this before my shift ends. Can't believe it's really him. Hey, uh, could you please delete that picture you've just taken? Why? Because I'm too shy. Don't don't look at me. What's wrong? I don't want to show my face because I'm ashamed of myself. I'm a hoax and I'm not real. I'm just a byproduct of a marketing ploy for a national park. You're an inspiration to others. Oh, I guess you're right. I shouldn't feel too bad about myself. If I think about it, I actually did scare off the legal loggers and inspired a bunch of kids about the wonders of the unknown. Does that mean I always have to show myself all the time in public? It's still important to have privacy. Oh, good to hear that. I don't like showing myself in the public for too long. I learned something from you today. I feel less ashamed of myself. I might be fake, but I inspired everyone's sense of discovery. I'm Bigfoot. Please don't show my face to other people. Have you ever seen a dragon? 
I saw one roaming around the bamboo forest yesterday morning. I guess it's also shy like me. Cool. Alright, I see the dragon. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Oh! Oh! The bowl! The bowl! No! I found the bowl! Ah, uh, okay. Um... You can say things about extraterrestrial things and flying things. So, tell me about the Yatagarasu. What? Oh, okay. What about the Keating? Nope. Alright. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Hey, buddy. Oh, hold on. I don't think I have... No, I do have her picture. I guess I gotta get some outside. Anyway, I can give this to you. Can you inspect this picture? Oh my, what do we have here? A puddle of red liquid? Is somebody hurt? But it's strange. It doesn't dry out as what normal blood does. Could this be an anomaly? Uh, if you can't see this, you should ask Helen. She'll give you uh, filters if you've tamed enough. Okay. Uh, I don't remember how many I tamed, so... Let's go to storage, just in case. Hey, my guy. I don't think I have anything for you. No. I don't got anything. Uh... Oh! A bone. Actually, I gotta go back up. I forgot. I gotta go give a picture to the archive guy. This game? Really fun! I'm surprised! Oh. No. Th this one? No. This one solves the case! Not to be uh, Yatagarasu. This would be like a crow from the heaven. It also appears in Chinese and Korean mythology. This three legged crow must have traveled across multiple con uh, countries. They are known as a symbol of guidance. It represents divine intervention in human affairs. Hey, Sky, what's up? What's up, Sky? I hope you're having a good Sunday. We're playing a game called uh, Project Anomaly. Urban Supernatural Investigator. <laughs> Do people still buy comics? Is it a dying art? <laughs> I promise people still buy comics, my guy. Movies can't replicate the feeling of turning a page and being surprised by the next panel. Oh my god, okay. He's just gonna... Alright, buddy. <laughs> okay, guy. Okay, guy. Spirit of Minotaur Man shall live on indeed. <laughs> what a guy, what a guy. Um, let's see. I need to talk to the engineer. Surely I've tamed enough. Yeah, yeah, it is quite flashy. It, it feels like, um, it's very, uh... <laughs> Alex said it earlier. Pokemon Snap, but cryptids. Oh, god damn it. Okay, hold on. Can you at least give me filters? I feel like I definitely tamed like six of them. Oh my god, okay. Fine. Okay. What's left on my... My cases? Uh, the disappearance of a bull... If I sense a disturbance, uh, that's at night. Okay, that's at night. That's at 
uh, Blair in Eastboro. All right, let's let's go Dust Knight again. I guess. Uh, well, let's go Dusk and Night. Maybe I'll see my guy. Oh, well, at least I see Blair. Hey, buddy, I got your picture. Yeah, it was a Bigfoot. If I were a Bigfoot, I'd just run away from my responsibilities and nobody would ever find me. Before I joined the Anomaly Research Institute, I was struggling in the streets to survive. Getting money was difficult. It, it's a mood, right? It's a mood. Who doesn't want to be a Bigfoot in these trying times? Now I can get nice and expensive food every day from the gig. Especially that pastrami sandwich from that famous deli. I should bring you there sometime. What? It's not what you think. I'm just trying to show you the real food that you should try at New Noir. Anyway, did you notice that the moon changes positions every part of the day? Uh, this moon deity or whatever might show up at night where the moon is the closest. Okay. That's actually really good to know. Thank you. Yeah, because there it is. There's the moon. Um, so I am investigating why the moon keeps coming closer every night. Um, that's, that's what we're doing right now. And on the way, you know, just getting a lot of side quests. Um, yeah, this will be good for that girl. That's an owie indeed. Uh, oh, you're not here at dusk? Okay. Good to know. You're still here. I don't need to worry about you. You want me to take care of the moon. I'm doing it. I got the anomaly there. Oh, you're scary again. Well, you can be however you want. Um. Uh, man, you know, it's... <laughs> It's really funny. I've been reading all the donation stuff to my significant other, like all the all the like flavor text on all the things that they have in terms of the donations. Um, uh, wh what the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't like that. I don't like that. Um. Anyway, uh, I. I like it, you know? I've been looking at a lot of things. Um. Oh, this might be the bloodthirsty animal. Okay, uh. Wait, we're gonna, we're gonna try and tame it. Moo! What brings you here, human? Uh, just saying hi? Puny human. Prepare for extraction, for destruction. Oh, we gotta escape? Oh, okay. Oh, no! Okay, well that sucks. All right, yeah, I figured that guy wouldn't work well for me. Um, I'm gonna go back to that time though. Uh, actually, we're gonna go... We're gonna go... Hmm. Day and dusk, I guess? Let's try that. Cause I gotta see some people during the day like you. Hey buddy, I tamed that anomaly. Awesome, great job. It appears to be a tool you. What a mischievous anomaly from Indonesia. If I had the ability to steal anything, I'd like to steal my parents' approval. Haha. -ha. Also, I agree. I love all the blogs. Oh man, I really, I especially love the blog um, bit between her and Chris. Like, it's so good. It's so good, Sky. My parents are world famous scientists, but my, but my parents said that my interest in anomalies aren't actual science yeah you can do it Wes I believe in you have I tried the hollow kick ch chicken over rice from one of the food carts they're the best food you can find in new noir cool um based on the current report there are five cases that might be correlated to the moon deity okay cool yeah like <laughs> Toby really went hard with all the new lore. I respect it a lot. Uh, discarded objects. Here you go. Hmm. A can of Mountain Horai drink and some branches to it. Yes! <laughs> yeah, the one with the egg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. 
Wait, maybe. Maybe we're talking about the same thing. I'm not sure. I haven't... I think the last time I, like, read up on all the lore stuff was when it was, like, early afternoon. Um, so I don't know what else has popped up since then. Uh, like, yesterday, early afternoon. So I don't know what's popped up since then. I can recreate the, le the legendary jeweled branch of Mount Horai from my artwork. You made that fast. What do you think? I think it's cool. Thank you, investigator. I couldn't have done it without your help. Unfortunately, I don't know much about the jeweled branch of Mount Horai. I think someone who is really interested in it would know much better about me. I'm going to leave it here so people can see it. I hope an art collector will be interested in buying it. Instant ramen noodles. Um... Okay, I'll have to check it out. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hey, buddy. This picture. You want some art? Here's some fucking art. Hmm. Yes, interesting. This is it. The one that is missing in my collection. The jeweled branch of Mount Horai. Let me tell you about this legendary artifact. Princess Kaguya demanded his treasure, but it was later revealed that it was forged by a professional jeweler. Well, that's it. <laughs> cool. Is it because you take pictures a lot and somehow gain artistic sense? Uh, it seems like it. <laughs> an expected answer from an investigator with such an exquisite taste in art. Very well. I better contact the artist before she sells it to it someone else. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it really was just like one sentence lore, Jesus Christ. Alright. I gotta find this fucking bowl. Um, that thing is so scary. That thing is so scary. Um, can't see that yet. Uh, I think... I think my guy over here, yeah, he's meditating. I can't do anything with him. Um, hey, kid. Oh, there's the bull. What? Oh, that's an anomaly. Yeah, it's really cool. It's very chill. Like, it doesn't, uh, it's not overbearing. But also, I had to turn it down. <laughs> I actually had to turn it down a lot on, um, on OBS, so... <laughs> like, I couldn't get to the settings. It was really weird. Inhabitant objects that have acquired a spirit. Rumor says they can be angry and band together with themselves to take revenge upon those who threw them away. To prevent this, special ceremonies are performed to console broken and unusable items. Oh, interesting. Can I reach the settings here? No, I just... I can't reach the settings at all. Uh... Yeah, give me a sec. Let me... Uh, I need to make sure that I am on games. Let me turn up the desktop sound. Is that better? No, it's, it's really easy. <laughs> I just turned it down on my headset. And also on OBS, but it's really easy to turn it back up. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, I need to... Yeah! I'm glad. Oh, this must be the bowl that Ando is looking for. I'll just try to pick it up and then rattle rattle. Did it just move? Where am I? Why am I alive now? What's the purpose of my life? Listen, I ask myself this every day, buddy. What am I? A 100 year old bowl. I'm just an insignificant bowl. Before I gain consciousness, all, I, all that I have to do is sit and wait when there's food on my head. But things feel different now. Things are getting too complicated when you can walk, talk, think, and feel. I'm very confused. What should I do? I'm not ready for all this. I'm just a bowl. That means my life purpose is to hold objects on my head. If I'm not doing that, that means I'm not living to my purpose of life. Is it true? If I'm not doing that, that means I'm not- wait. Okay, that- I see, I see. Does that mean I'm a useless bowl now? I'll use your head to eat my lunch. 
Oh, nope. You didn't want that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, you can make your own life purpose. Ah, so that's how it's like. It's good, maybe. <laughs> life is all about making your own life meaningful. It's not wrong to go back as a bowl and live my normal life as usual. Whoa, the possibilities are endless. The problem is, I'm not as perfect as I used to be. See the gold plating on my sides? I've been dropped several times and I have cracks beneath the plating. I'm not even perfect to start a new life. Nobody's perfect. Wow, thanks a lot for your advice. Oh, now I remember what my owner used to say. He repaired me with this gold plating because he believed it actually made me look more beautiful. And despite all the cracks I have in my body, the art of Kintsugi. I guess I'm ready to start a new life. I'm Tsukumogami. And I'm glad that I'm alive. I know! I'm so proud of you, buddy. You're so cute. It's gonna be a little awkward to say to uh, the monk, though, like, hey, your bowl has a new life. Like, sorry. Oh, scary. Perhaps it's per. Ah, god. I'm not gonna read that. Alright, um, I don't think I have anything else to do during the daytime. Let me check. Still working on the moon. I haven't found anyone for the cavalry. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline, indeed. Um, alright, I gotta give this to you later. Um,. Yep. Okay, and then dawn. Okay. Day, dusk. Alright, I gotta find someone who's selling seashells. Could, could, it, could it be you? Very Got any seashells? I just sold some of my latest catches to a restaurant here. You might have to find some shells that got into the fishing net in that restaurant. Ah. Uh. Okay, he's talking about his boat. Cool. Okay, he's probably talking about the restaurant over here. I is that it? Who wants this? There were some shells from his catch, and they really do make great decorations. I was about to use them as decorations next to the aquarium, but I don't have the skills to make such crafts. I put all of them in a bucket. If anyone needs them, you can't waste anything, right? You can take them if you want them. But please, try a new recipe here. Can't really take them. Um. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, cases. I think the ma'am? The woman wanted it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's go, old woman. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, old woman. I'm coming. Did I go the right way? I didn't go the right way. I'm coming. Hello. Here's some seashells that she sells by the seashore. Alright. I'm not gonna read that because she's gonna say it. Eh? This is wonderful, thank you. Now please, just wait for a moment. Here is, here it is, the Swallow's Calvary Shell Necklace. The Swallow's Calvary Shell is one of the five treasures that Kaguya wanted. Five nobles were after these five treasures to marry Kaguya. Unfortunately, one of the nobles who went after the Swallow's Calvary Shell didn't survive when he fell, fell down from the Swallow's Nest. Hey, Houdini, thanks for stopping by and thanks for following. I hope you're having a good Sunday! Well, if it's still Sunday for you, I hope you're having a good Sunday. Well, at least he did his best. Anyway, if you have friends that are visiting here, please let them know about my shop and I'll give them a special discount. Also, thank you. Thank you, I'm gonna stretch. Oh, I took such a long hike today. And I'm a fool. I didn't stretch before or after. So I'm gonna stretch right now! Yes! 
I am doing very well. Ow. I'm still good. I'm a little fatigued, but I am not too tired. Um, I am drinking water because I am super behind on my water intake, but that's okay. Oh, because I got my water here and I'm almost done with the first round of three. Okay, I got up and stretched my legs, so let's continue. Feel free to take pictures of my newest souvenir. Cool! I'm gonna take a picture of it. <sighs> okay. There we go. Um, let's see. I gotta get rid of some pictures, because I'm starting to... Yeah, I have 15. I gotta get rid of some. Um, I don't think I need the Yatakarasu anymore. I don't need Bigfoot anymore. I don't need the discarded objects anymore. I don't need the cowrie shells. I still need that. Um, I don't think I need the fire rat anymore. Or this guy. Or this. Or this. Um. Yeah. I think I think I'm good right now. And I think when my shift is over, I can get a new filter and bigger storage. Um, to be honest, this game's really fun. Um, I I didn't I had like no expectations of it when I started. Um, but yeah, I it really fits to my love of taking pictures snap style but also the open world of it. Um, I mean, there's still like a lot of, uh, there's still a lot of issues where it comes to text. That's just, it just needs to pass through with like some grammar and editing that I'm sure they'll do. Um, so I don't see it as much of a problem. But it is just something that, you know, I'm like, well, if I had to say something bad about this game or something that could use a lot of improvement, that would be one of them. Um, but other than that, like, it it feels really good. Like, it it controls really well. Um, yeah, it's just a good feeling game. Um, I need to end my shift. Okay, because most of the things I need to do are during the night time. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm going to assume that this demo only works with one case, which I think is fine. Um, and honestly, for this one case, like, it, it's a lot of work, so I think that's good. Uh, it wasn't too hard to get the extra storage and, uh, hold on, S story thoughts. It's really challenging to see how these cameras work and I learn something new every day compared to what I did at the aerospace agency. Uh, I don't miss working at the aerospace agency, but I do miss my colleagues. I haven't seen them since I left. Come back to me later when you discover 30 and you'll get more extra storage. Okay. Oh, hold on, but I need, I need the filter. Yeah, a night vision filter, cool. Press X when you're using the camera. Okay. Investigators are known for their courage in the Institute. How do you face your own darkest fears? It's just one of those things that can't get off your mind and could slow down my work if I handle properly. Anyway, I guess it's something I have to address on my own, but thanks for listening. Okay, cool. I got some new stuff to look at during the nighttime, which is good because I think one of the things I need to look at is, um, like, I can't see it without this filter. Like, I, I saw, like, this trail of blood, and I'm pretty sure that's where I need to be. Um, but first, I gotta talk to this bitch. Hey, bitch, come here. I got a picture of that fucking dragon, so leave it alone. Huh, not bad for a new recruit. Are you sure you did this by your own? 
What are you even going to do with that dragon anyway? Next time we'll capture the anomalies before you can even blink your eyes. Do you know the tale of the bamboo cutter? One of the nobles tried to find a jewel of a dragon's neck, but he abandoned the task due to a terrible storm. Hey, what kind of man would abandon his task like that? Anyway, grab a book at the library next time. You need to learn more, kid. I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch you, man. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> we shouldn't be defeated by the low rank paparazzis like you. Okay, that's not my problem. Because <laughs> we enforcers have more power than... Attention, attention. All enforcers return to headquarters immediately. Looks like we got another job to do. We just got our brand new fighter jets. Fighter jets? <laughs> Can't believe we just wasted time speaking with you. See you later, investigator. Oh, okay. I'm gonna punch him, but that, that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good, buddy. I'll give you that. That scary. It's so close. Um. Yeah, I really did get gated. All right, buddy. Here is the, uh, here's the Ushi Oni. That's probably the bloodthirsty weapon. No? Okay. That wasn't the bloodthirsty weapon he was talking about, which, to be honest, makes me feel more scared. Maybe it's wherever that blood is. Alright, let's, uh... X! Ah! Scary! Scary! What is this? A gen lot. Uh, genj lot? I think gen lot. Let's see. Where are you from? You are from Indonesia. A deformed creature in Indonesian mythology that resembles a tiny humanoid doll that feeds on blood. They have long hair that grows, sharp fangs, and long nails. They are rumored to give supernatural powers to those who feed them blood. Rumor says that if a person with great supernatural power meditates in a certain cave, they'll become Genla. Cool. Yeah, very spooky. And maybe this is the picture he wanted. Hey, my guy. Hey. Maybe this is the picture you wanted. Oh, also, as a heads up, we have ads starting in about three minutes. Thank you again for watching ads. They help me get paid. Um, if anything, like, plot relevant happens or if there's a lot of dialogue, I'll pause wherever I am in the dialogue. Uh, if I'm not in dialogue, I'll go get in dialogue. Uh, because... I... That's when time doesn't go. Time doesn't go when I'm in dialogue. Yeah! Yeah, it is! It's really cool! Yes. This is the Gen Lock. They are believed to give supernatural powers to those who feed them blood. Rumor says that if a person with great supernatural power meditates in a cave for too long... That's the sentence. I know they're already proven to be just a figure of taxidermied mix of common animal remnants, but who knows what power lies beneath from it. I, heard, I lead a dojo in my southeast borough, and we've been attacked by unnatural beings recently. I sense that this anomaly is one of the sources of the disturbance. That's why I'm here to look out for clues on who set up this supernatural trickery. Why is it roaming here in East Borough? Did someone throw it away? Did it just regain consciousness and wander on its own? Anyway, thanks for the help, Investigator. I might have to bring it back to where it's supposed to be before it could cause a lot of trouble. I don't think I can tame that, so I'm not gonna try. Kinda, it's kinda really spooky. Really spooky spooky. Um, just like, I don't think I could tame that spider. Um, anyway, there's something else that's here at night. But I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's gotta be something about the moon. Oh, oh, I got stuck. Um, let's see, let's see. Nope, nothing there. Oh, also one thing that, um, I didn't mention that this game does is that, uh, it's made, like, two Legend of Zelda references and also a Junji Ito reference, and I think that's pretty neat. Oh, what? What is, what is that? Okay, I gotta get a good picture of it. Uh, Bakekujida. Alright.
Okay, you're still there chilling. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, let's see, let's see, what is it? Ah, also my ads are starting in 10 seconds. Uh, it is a whale spirit ghost. It seeks revenge on fishermen that took their lives. It brings curse to the area where it's spotted. Wowie. Scary. Oh! Hey, hey buddy. There you are. An Akamanto. Why are you holding... Mass bear who wears a red cloak. He appears to people using toilets in public or school bathrooms at night. He has the toilet occupant if they want red or blue toilet paper. The only solution to this is not to answer any of the options. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna get water. Okay, welcome back. I'm also back. I went to get water. Uh, we are talking to this thing called the Akamanto. Five! Wow, that's a lot of ads. Oof. Red toilet paper or blue toilet paper? Hi, Beetle. J just as a heads up for you, Beetle. This game is just a little bit spooky because it is taking pictures of supernatural cryptids. Cough, cough. Red toilet paper or blue toilet paper? I said, red toilet paper or blue toilet paper? So, the best way to do this is to not answer at all. You're ignoring me, huh? Heh, <laughs> fine. You win this time. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, damn it. Did you did you leave? Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying to tame you. Uh But yeah, it's a really it's a really fun game. I'll I'll uh, I'll talk a little more about it. Um so you can hear me. It is a fun game around uh taking pictures of cryptids and solving mysteries. It's like uh, oh, there it is. It's like, um, like Pokemon Snap, but for cryptids. And it's like kind of open world walking, which is always pretty fun. Um, it controls very well. It's fun. Uh, yeah, big funny skeleton whale indeed. Um, it's based off of a lot of real world, um, myths and legends. Uh, so like, you know, we have quite a bit of Japanese myths and lores, and then we have, um, some from Indonesia, uh, we had one from China, uh, Bigfoot. So, you know, just a whole bunch of different, uh, different types, which I think is really neat. Um, I need to go talk to a monk about a bowl. Hey, buddy, your bowl isn't coming back. I'm just letting you know. 
Bigfoot was like, hey, I'm shy. I don't feel like an actual cryptid. They made me up, and I'm like, hey buddy, you're still good. And he was like, oh, thanks. I'm like, yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta be out in the public. And he's like, do I gotta do it all the time? And I was like, no, no, you need your privacy too. And he's like, oh, thank God, thank God. I don't want to be out in the public all the time. Thanks. All right, my name's Bigfoot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's just some dude. Uh, okay, so this bowl is a uh, Sukomogami. Yeah. Not surprising. It might have aged more than a hundred years as far as I can remember. Could this be the legendary begging bowl from the tale of the bamboo cutter all along? Is it one of the treasures that Princess Kaguya demands to avoid her marriage? Clever girl, isn't she? One of the nobles bought the bowl and the bowl he gave turned out to be fake since it doesn't glow with holy light. In the end, all of which was used by the royal guards of the moon it is a tragic story indeed. My ancestors bought these begging bowls from a faraway land. Though my ancestors would disagree with me, I personally think they are technically not owned by the temple. If the bull has regained consciousness and it already knows where it wants to go, then let it be free. Our responsibility here is to keep the harmony between the humans and spirits in this world, and it seems we're not that much different after all. You have my respect, investigator. Cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we love you, Bolchan. Be free. Alright, I wonder if I can talk to this dragon yet. He really didn't seem interested in talking to me last time, but maybe this time. Hey, buddy. Hey, you wanna chat? Nope. I didn't- I took a picture of you. Oh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Who would I talk to about dragons. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll figure it out when my ship is done. Um, let's see. Alright. Just working about the moon. That's the only one left. Okay, so let me end my shift. And let me go talk to some guys about what I've been seeing. Um, I think I need to go to the observatory. Uh, hey buddy. I think I can talk to you about this guy? Yeah, because it's extraterrestrial in the skies. No? Uh, okay, it's probably bones. So I'll probably need it for the other guy. Okay. Yeah, it's banging. It's such good music. Okay, buddy. Man, it's useless to me. Um, let's see. You, I can't actually give you anything to investigate. Yeah, you're just vibing. You do you. Um, I don't think the archives will help me either. Whoa, where does this go? Did I miss someone? Oh no. Okay, okay. Let's go see you. Um, you can't help me, but I'll talk to you anyway. Yeah, you're good at like, yeah, translating, and I already did that. Um, the clinic won't help me, because you like, yeah, anything that seems ill or mysterious substances. Maybe this? No. Um, no, yeah. I already talked to you about the one thing. Yeah, Frankenstein girl, yeah. She experiments a lot on herself, but also prioritizes the comfort of her patient. So she's, you know, mad scientist, but nice mad scientist. All right. Uh, tell me about this. What? <laughs> Bruh. I, are you kidding me? What am I supposed to give this stuff to then? You? Hey, Shaw. When is the pizza going to arrive? Yeah! You forgot to disable the security measurement. I was promised a slice of pizza after doing my training, and I did not get my slice of pizza. Oh my god. I'm, I'm never going to get that pizza. Okay, and I just can't 
can't go that way. Um, uh, man, I've talked to all the locals and I've solved all of their cases. There's just a guy that I need to... Okay, I haven't done a dusk one yet. Like a dusk night. Maybe that'll help. Hey. What's up? Yeah, we already talked about that. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You said something important. Shows up at night where the moon is closest. Mix? Okay. I gotta find that. Alright, you got nothing of relevance to talk to me about. That guy's got nothing of relevance to talk to me about. What's up? Yep. Uh, I already talked to you, buddy. Uh, I don't think I can do anything down here. Nope. Alright. Talk to you. Talk to you. You're back to looking scary. Thanks. Um... Probably should have just came at the day, at the dusk, the night time. But, mm, I guess, uh, let me, let me try talking to this guy. I hate it, but let me try talking to it. What do you want? That's what I'm supposed to ask. You're stepping into my territory. Move over. This is my territory, because I'm the strongest here. I'll spit my poison to dissolve your body. Think you're strong enough? I have a brain of a cow and I have spider legs. You're nothing compared to me. You want to fight? Since I know you're weak, I'll give you a chance to bring someone with you to fight me. I, I know an archer that could fight you. Moo! An archer? Could it be him? Of course, he's not going to be alive today. But could it be his successor? My ancestor got slain by an archer and he took his horns to a temple. Would you like to be a decoration? Moo! Please don't! Gotcha! You got me, human. You're a lot braver than anyone around here. You're a smart, human. Do you have any wisdom you can give to me? Physical strength is not everything. As expected from a smart and respectable human, you're welcome in my territory. Just please don't bring any kind of archers here. You have my respect. I'm Ushi Oni. I saw something crash down from the sky yesterday at dusk. Do you know anything about extraterrestrials? They're not allowed in my territory. Dusk. Okay, okay, that's something. Thank you. Dusk. I'll remember that. Is that dragon out? No. Um. Dusk. Dusk. Alright. I'm just gonna keep saying it to myself every now and again so I remember. Um. Alright, that's the kid. We talked. We, me and the kid talked. Cool guy. Cool kid. Uh, yeah, I talked to this man. He's meditating again. Um, dusk. Dusk. Hi, soul. How are you? Thank you for resubscribing. I appreciate it. I let Beetle know, but I will let you know again. Or I'll let you know, too. This is a scary game. Um, kinda. It's kinda scary. It has scary things. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So you've been... You've been chilling. You've been figuring it out. Yeah, well, you've been here anyway. Um, okay. There's that thing. Can't do anything about that right now. Um... Yeah! Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where? Where is this thing? I'm mad about it. Where are you? I'm gonna find you. When I find you, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm not gonna kick your ass. Yeah, the the big spider. The the cow spider. Oh, oh, scary. Okay, finally you showed up. I guess. I don't like that. I don't like anything about that. Can I look at you from the other side? No. Okay, I really don't like this. I'm gonna talk to you like this. <laughs> Readings. I felt something is calling me back to Earth. 
I vaguely remember five of the treasures that I demanded centuries ago. I sense you have the answers that I need. I'm sure you can help me regain my memories. Can you show me a picture which was promised to be glowing with holy light but ended up being a regular food container? Sure can. Also, thank you. I will. Hydrate right now. Oh, it's a legendary begging bowl. It looks like it turned alive into a uh, Tsukumogami. I remember another one about a special branch of a tree on a legendary mountain, but it turned out to be forged by a drooler. Yeah, I got it. I got it, buddy. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. Oh, it's the jeweled branch of Mount Horai. This is a clever modern take on the... based on the original one that I saw back then. I also remember something like a flaming robe. Oh, I didn't keep it. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, Kaguya, I'll be back. I'll be back. I know where that fucker is. Um, okay. So there's the fire rat, which was the robe. And then I'm missing one more. Uh, not you. I'm in the wrong place. Um, let's see, let's see. I need to go down this street. No, it wasn't down here either. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so she was up here, and then I went this way? No, I'm lo- No, this way, this way. Yeah. Kaguya, I'll be back. I really love the ad of the old man eating his gummy son like Saturn. What? <laughs> Sky, what does that mean? Oh! Oh! Wait, I understand. I, I'm picking up on what you're putting down. I, this one. This one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> but it's so fun. Alright. I gotta, I gotta look at you again. I don't wanna look at you again. I don't like your fucking face! Okay. Uh, alright. So there's, there's the food, the bowl, the bowl, the bowl, the bowl. Uh, you know, it was really good. I had a really good day. I spent a lot of time hiking. Um, it was a pretty chill one. It was, uh, it was like a park near us, but it's like, uh, you know, it's like a really big loop. It's like, it's a 2.8 mile loop. But then there's like different trails you can go on. So we took like a quote unquote moderate to difficult trail down to the beach. Uh, we walked around the beach for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we took this other trail to get back to the loop. So overall we walked about four miles. Um, it was nice. Uh, it was tiring. I'm sure tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and, uh, how much miles are in kilometers? That's a good question. Hold on. Let me look up mile to kilometer. Um, so we walked about 6.4 kilometers. Yeah, because it looks like, uh, one mile is about 1.6 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was something else, man. It was something else, but it was fun. There, there were a lot of people, but um, you know, it was there was like a really long stretch of the trail that we encountered no one, and that was really nice. Um, yeah, I'll have to put up pictures later. My significant other took a lot of pictures. Um, he just has to send them to me. That is a plug to him that is in this chat to send them to me, so I can post them on Twitter later. Um, but yeah, it was fun. And then I came home, and I ate an egg sandwich. So that's about how the day is going. And now I'm playing games! Let's see. You wanted... Flaming Robe. Yeah! Egg sandwich! I 
can't eat any of my usual vegan bacon. So I was like, ah, just egg. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm not in too much pain tomorrow either. Oh, thank you. I, I'm like sitting here cross-legged. That is not good for my pasture. Posture? Pasture? Posture. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's the rope of the fire rat. The rat looks really cute. I'm glad they never actually skinned this creature. There is one treasure where the seeker abandoned it due to a storm. What creature is that from? Uh, what? <laughs> what creature is that from? Hold on. Abandoning it due to a storm. Is that the cowrie? No. The, okay. The, the kitty? Oh! You know, I never got to talk to that guy. So I just, I'm kind of guessing. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the dragon's neck jewel. What a strong and majestic creature. It would be a lot more intimidating than the storm itself. One last treasure. What was a treasure which the seeker fell to his demise from reaching it? Yo, we all need to fix our posture. Oh, it's a swallow's cavalry shell. This would make a really great souvenir. Haha. Ha. Haha! Ha. These silly people didn't know that I come from the moon, and they foolishly risked their lives to marry me. Oh, wait, all my wonderful memories are back. Thank you very much. These treasures were all just made up items, but I can't believe someone has finally showed all of them at once. I don't like to think that life is all about settling down. Life is an adventure to experience. But I still miss my old foster parents who took care of me centuries ago. I always wanted to repay them a visit, but all that's left is just my memories about them. Yeah, yeah, she really does. <laughs> she really does. That's why I'm keeping it like this. <laughs> I know this is the worst part of being an immortal celestial being, to outlive all the humans that you cared very much. Why did you come here? I was sent to Earth hundreds of years ago when the Celestial War happened. I lived a normal and happy life with my adoptive parents until the people of the Moon wanted me to go back to the Moon. The Moon Royal Guards wiped out my memories about my life in Earth before I got sent back to the Moon. Recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, ah, I know your eyes are up there. It's okay, I'm gonna look down here. Don't worry about me. Recently, this strange phenomena caused me to regain some of my memories on Earth, and I felt something is missing. That's why I need to visit Earth again. Just like a human's lifespan in marriage, memories don't last forever. Cherish them while you'll still be able to remember. You have the ability to preserve memories in a photograph. Please don't waste your skill. I believe you can help others as well. The uniform you wear looks familiar. Before I visited Earth, I think I saw someone wearing one on the moon. Oh, so y'all got investigators on the moon too? That's pretty chill. I'm sure you'll find out who that was. You're a skilled investigator after all. Anyway, thanks for understanding me. I'm Kaguya. Now that I've gained my memories, I will return to the moon where I belong. It was a nice trip visiting Earth after a while. Thank you very much. Yes, Kaguya, please. Please leave. Oh. Okay. Now, I think I'm almost at the end of the demo. I should be able to present this to my director and be done. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. What is Paradise Killer about? Hello. Uh, what's up? I solved the major case in each borough. Congrats. You just got the job and you already solved the major case. It turned out to be Kaguya, the princess of the moon who was behind the phenomenon. Seems like memories really are valuable, even for a celestial being. Kaguya also mentioned she saw someone wearing that institute's coat on the moon. Who could it be? That concludes your first major case at Eastboro. Your next major case will be... Well, we haven't received the next major case because this is the end of the demo. Thanks for playing. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Paradise Killer. Alright. Everything I see in the demo might change in the final version because nothing lasts forever. What could be the root cause? What happened to the previous director? What exactly is the creature that's with me? When will the pizza man arrive? <laughs> Just embrace the unknown. Feel free to follow us to get the latest news about the development of the game. Cool. I will. Cough, cough. Feel free to re-explore the area again. You're free to go on vacation now since there's no reported major cases. Okay. Alright. 
Okay. I'm going to return to the title screen. So, overall, Project Anomaly. One to look for if you like Spooky and Pokemon Snap. Uh, yeah, it's a really cool game. I will re-put the link in. Um, check it out. Watch out for it. It's cool. Okay. And then I have another demo to play. Monospace Lovers. You can watch... Uh, can you watch this one? Hold on. Clara wakes up to a phone that isn't her. Make... That isn't hers. Make friends, dodge bullets, and save the world before it disintegrates in this narrative adventure game about closeness and distance. Yes, you can watch this one, Beetle. Okay, let me put the link to it. Monospaced Lovers. And let- oh, I didn't download it. Are you sure? No, I did download it. Okay. My weakness. <laughs> Platformers. <laughs> it's okay. I'll do I'll do okay. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Can, can you open? Okay. Okay, are you gonna burst my eardrums or are you gonna be nice? It's thinking about it. It's thinking about what it wants to do. Yeah, your main strength. Yeah. Did did it crash? Did you crash? No? You're still loading. Oh! Yeah, you crashed. Okay. Let's try again. <laughs> I don't even think this demo was that big. Uh, let me close some things on my computer, just in case. <laughs> Why is that clickable? Oh, boy. All right. I, I closed a lot of things, game. Oh, okay. I think I think that's good. Also, it's a heads up. We have ads in about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Thank you again for watching the ads. Um, if there's like text or something happening on the screen, I'll wait until after the ads are over. So that way y'all can see everything. Otherwise, um, let me make sure that the sound comes in well. Uh, I think I could turn this back up. And then I could turn the volume up a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. And if that is like bad for us later we'll figure it out what oh frames per second counter no i don't need that um how do i get out of this escape no oh, okay all right let's start a new game uh please select your difficulty uh i'm familiar with platformers unfortunately yes i'm sure boss battle is chosen di differently. Um... Hmm. I wish I could just use a controller. I guess I'll use the arrow keys. Because I'm really not feeling using whatever the fuck... Actually, no, I'm going to use whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, let's do it. Uh... Alright. <clears throat> you would think so. <laughs> Oops, excuse me, but I'm not sure. What is your name? How do I? How do I? M? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, I don't want it like that. Oh, no. I mean, it might have controller support. I actually didn't check. But I'm assuming that if it's asking me all of these uh, keyboard specific questions, that it probably doesn't. Scarlet String Studios. Oh, the art style's really cute.
Uh, hey, can you hear me? Come on, wake up. We are in a bit of a predicament. Hey, uh, who are you? Wait, this isn't my username. That's the predicament. Also, I'll pause because the ad is starting soon. Um, so I'll just I'll just chat a little bit about my walk to um the people that can hear me. Um, when the ad starts. Uh, but yeah, my my walk was really nice. There were a lot of really cute dogs. Um, there was a. Uh... <sighs> okay, so I didn't know about this term until recently. There was like a, a, a bluff. I really, I really don't know what that means, but like, I guess it was like a sand bluff. Um, but there was a, there was a really nice, uh, trail. <laughs> I love you too. Mwah. Um. But yeah, there was a really nice trail on the beach. Uh, apparently seals come there during whenever the seal, the baby seal season is, seals come there. And I think that's cool as hell. I wish I were there when the seals were there. I'd want to see them. I wouldn't be able to go close, but I want to see them. Um, there was like a nice little uh, lighthouse uh, near the beach too. Um, but man, let me tell you, the trail there, it was wild. And the steps, big and small. At one point, there was like a trail that kind of went like into the forest that Alex was like, hey, let's go check it out. And I was like, okay. But then as we started going through, I was like, wait, no, not okay. Let's go back. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And welcome back. Let's continue. Hold on, let's switch. Clearless is now known. What? What? Why did we switch? I don't. What? Testing, testing. A DoorDash ad. Oof. I wish DoorDash was good to me, but it's not. Phew. So wait a minute. Oh, oh, so Clearless is my. Is my username, I guess? I don't know. Is this your phone? So it seems. Which means this is probably your phone. Let's stay calm and talk about this like adults. Before we do anything rash. Hold on, stuff's happening. What, what happened? Uh. Oh! Okay, can I jump? Oh, okay, jump is like that. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. But this one's jump, and that's important to me. Hello. Where, where are you going? Excuse me. Oh, maybe that's where the whatever happened happened. How do I talk to you? Like this? Like this? Like this? How do I... Oh, w? Clara, look at this. Oh, you're cute, Catherine. You're cute. What am I looking at here? This crack in the wall. This wasn't here yesterday. There's gotta be something hidden in here. Think you could break it for me? Ha ha uh, dot? Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, a dash! A dash, I see. Oh, gross. Oh. Okay. Wall jump! Oh, I can... Okay, I can jump up. Cool. Hey. Clara found a data chip. Check the phone menu to read what's inside. Okay. I think that's M. Data chip. This device is now property of the god of binary. Please uh, deposit one DCP to 
Thank you for your cooperation. Just kidding. I don't want your money or your data. I request your time, if you please. Present with a riddle. Its answer lies at the heart of the world. If you can find the truth, you just might save this town before it uh, disintegrates. Here's my question, dear heroine. What exists in the space between 0 and 1? Hold on, I, I kind of want to see what this QR code goes to. Hold on. If it breaks my phone, you'll be the first to know. But I doubt. I doubt it would do that. I couldn't do that. Let's go. Alright, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. What exists in the space between 0 and 1? Is that it? Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, oh, because I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay. There we go. What, what did I get? Th there has to be controller support in the future for this. Oh my god. There has to be. What'd you find? Some kind of data chip. It's kind of hard uh -huh. to explain. Let me see. Oh, hold on. Before I before I forget, let me uh let me change the uh the category of this game. Monospace lovers. So that way, just in case if someone's looking for through categories, they won't think I'm still playing the other game. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Oh, okay, maybe I was supposed to wait to look at this, I guess. Oh, while it's doing that, I'll take some water. like a puzzle. Smells like a puzzle. I'm on it. Oh, do I need to follow you? Wait up. I guess so. Do you know something about this? Glad you asked. I was starting to wonder if I'd have to solve this mystery myself. Because she's way far away. You know the shrine out east past the slime? The slimes. <laughs> I've been investigating it for months to no avail, but this just gave me an idea. See you there. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm running too. Mono Space Lovers! Chapter 1. Oh, I have to press the button. Pandora's Sandbox! Okay, jump. Jump, jump. J uh. Uh, dash, jump. W, let's go to this person's house. Whose house is this? The Clara's. Oh. Uh, this? Nope, it doesn't matter. Uh, hmm. Bro, there's so much. There's so much platforming! Oh, oh, my house counts. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Oh, now where am I? Ah, uh, I swear something. Okay, there it is. Camellia isn't here, but maybe I can help myself to some tea? Yes. Now where's that kettle? Yeah, let's have some fucking tea! Camilla's 
house is always so calming. I see why she never wants to go outside. Except for right now, I suppose. Is she out stargazing again? Glad I could just go into people's houses and take their tea. I love that for me. Oh. I apologize, I am terrible at platformers. So I'm not gonna be good at this game. night, isn't it? Could just just a tanuki up here. The air is so crisp and the moon is so bright. You're in a good mood. I'm always in a good mood, you aren't. I'm in an okay mood, but you're in a good mood. There's a big difference. Like, I can see the flowers above your head, and there's a ray of sunshine across your vacant smile. That sort of thing. That's me. Oh, really? Fall down there, where does that take me? Oh, hold on. Y'all just chilly? Y'all just chilling? Oh! I guess I don't have to kick your ass after all. I was ready. I was ready to kick your ass, slime. saying buddy I don't know what you're saying man he is a f uh, philosophical slot he's got a lot to say to me oh is it really okay I thought I fixed it but maybe not okay let me fix it real quick I also think it might just be a mobile thing. But, that's fine. Okay, remind me to fix it later. Cause I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do there. I'll probably just put a period or something. Oh! Okay, there was ground here. That's cool, that's good to know. Hello, slime. Ugh. Oh, do I gotta fight you? Bloodthirsty slime? Oh, no. Do I... What does he want from me? Maybe I should leave him be. I need a slime expert stat. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Can't get past this guy. 
Um, where am I going? Oh, this button? Okay. The God of Binary. How'd those files get on my phone? You sure they weren't there before? Dude, I'd have noticed there was a grid of encrypted data files on my phone. Well, looks like your phone was hijacked by a hacker from the 90s. And teleported to your house, apparently. Weird. Hey, wait a minute. How'd you know I was at home? Well, our phones are, like, swapped, right? Seems to be the case. If you have my phone, that means I have yours. Yeah. But I feel like there's something you're not telling me. Well, for some reason, there's a weird ribbon icon on your home screen. And when I tap it, it's giving me a video feed of what you're looking at in first person. My bad. You're telling me you can see everything? If you close that chat window and click the ribbon or whatever, you'll be able to see what I'm looking at right now. Sorta, yeah. <gasps> they must be my slime expert. Just, uh, hold that still for me for now, okay? Hold still? Just give me a second to figure out what's going on. You can, uh, stare at the chat window in the meantime. Okay, sounds good. I will stretch. I'm actually gonna stretch by going to pee. So I'm gonna take my headset off for just a second. And I will stretch my arms as I go to the bathroom. Okay, I've actually just got the word that my friend is home, and I'm supposed to be hanging out with them. So, I will table this, I'll save this, and uh, we'll come back to it next time, maybe. Um, let's see, can I save? Does it save automatically? Good question. Okay. Yeah, I think I will have to stop for now. But thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. I will be back here tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific uh, time. I usually uh, do a do a tweet about it. But I'll be here doing more ooblets. We'll be doing more fun dance battles and continuing to. Uh, do quests around town and fix up our house, our dilapidated house. Um, and I'll put out a schedule later today as well for the rest of this week. Uh, the spoiler alert is I am pushing off all of my responsibilities on Thursday and Friday because One Shot is coming out on the Switch and we're going to play through it. I'm going to spend a lot of time playing through it because it's one of my favorite games. Um, Let's see, other than that, thanks for hanging out. Uh, please get some water if you haven't gotten water in the past while. Our bodies need the water. And um, I gotta drink like eight cups a day, so you guys should try to drink eight cups a day. Um, be sure to stretch. Again, we've been here for a while. Get some blood flowing back into the rest of your body. Um, and then have a good day. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a really good Sunday afternoon. Like, 
If I wasn't gonna hang out with my friend, I'd be taking a nap, because it's just really nice. So I mean, if it's nice and you're tired, consider taking a nap. Otherwise, do something that makes you happy. All right, let's see. Who can we raid right now? Um, let's see. Let's find someone that maybe is also playing game demos. Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Um, okay, let's, let's see if we can find anyone playing any demos right now. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just me. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess uh, I have someone that I follow right now playing golf with your friends. So I'll send you guys to them. Let's show them some love. Uh, I'm going to go to their site first to make sure that... Yeah, because it's usually like free roll ads. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let me switch my window over to my offline screen and let's get ready to raid. Oh, I think their stream is ending too. Hold on. <laughs> I pressed it, but... No, they're still... Ah, uh, where are we now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I'm actually not going to raid them. Uh, they are hosting someone that's playing Dead by Daylight, and I would like to find something that at least Speedle can watch. I don't think I have anyone... That, um, I have that streaming right now that I feel like, uh, rating. So let's just end here. Let's just have a good time and end here for tonight. Um, yeah, I just, I don't see. You know what? You know what? Let's find someone playing Ooblets. Because that's always fun. And I know someone's probably playing Ooblets right now. I know it. Let's make a new friend. Um, they're just little guys. Uh, let's see. Let's pick someone that doesn't really have a lot of viewers right now. Let's pick this person that has restarted. Ooblets. Yeah. Let's go there. All right.